hello everyone. I'm here at the Festival of Speed at Goodwood and you can probably hear some race cars in the background but what I want to talk about today is the super cool futuristic vehicle behind us. It is a vertical takeoff and landing vehicle that could replace helicopters and jets in the future and I'm here with Clive from Evolari. How are you? Thanks very, for having me. Very good. So maybe you can tell us a little bit more about this amazing yeah of course vehicle. so it's it's an e tall, right because we're battery powered um, but this is the lilium jet here 30 engines 10 batteries down the side 150 nautical miles of range which is about an hour of flight time um, like for like as far as performance goes with an equivalent or equivalent uh, helicopter um, and it's it's just around the corner you know we're really excited to be a part of the future and to be the company that brings it to market in the uk and I love the fact that it's quiet, right? So a helicopter is really noisy. How does it compare in terms of noise? Yeah, I mean, you know, you can hear the Goodwood helicopters going in and out. This, uh, when it's running, is 60 decibels of noise. So, you know, if you think a commercial air conditioning unit that's uh, about, about as silent as this will be, and we think it'll be a door opener for, you know, sites that typically close early due to noise, noise pollution in London. Very good. And in terms of how many people can it carry? Yeah, so this is the Pioneer Edition. So that is a VIP Club 4, so two facing two with a single pilot up front uh, and a total payload of about 600 kilos. Very good. And at the moment, this has a pilot. Do you see in the future that it might be coming, become autonomous? Um, you know, I think with the way technology is going um, and just how advanced you know, the system is on this with assisting the flight crew, making, uh, you know, in-flight adjustments and helping it stay steady, um, it, it could be a possibility down the road, but this will require a commercial pilot. Very good. Where, where do you see this technology being used? So what are the, your, the key markets that you're aiming for? Yeah, I think, you know, for us, our uh, part of what we do day to day is, is also, um, you know, use VIP helicopters, right? So we see this being a seamless transition in um, and a green alternative to, to what people are using today as far as a VIP shuttle. I think when the numbers come out, you know, it, it in my opinion, is certainly compelling um, to explore shuttled service or scheduled service between cities and regional air mobility projects as well. Very good. So what's the range of this again? So it's 150 nautical miles at a standard cruising speed of 150 knots. Very good. Amazing. I'm super excited to yeah, see this are technology. <laughs> so when, when is this? When, when can people have this? Yeah. So, you know, any day now we're hoping to be flying over the horizon, but um, we're anticipating 2026 is when uh, we'll get our allotment at Oxford Airport and uh, start offering the service to the public. Very good. Thank yeah. you so much. I can't wait of to course. see them in the sky. Thank, Thank you. you.